Hello everybody, welcome to the CCL semi-final between Krupi's Nurgle and Crucifer's Chaos Dwarves. In the booth with me is Fymir. Hello Fymir. Hello everybody. Get ready for a roady match because these are not agility teams at all. <laughs> oh, there you go. First KO. Yeah, this is an incredible Nurgle team. Pretty much everything you want. Pretty much perfect. I would... Ish. I'm not actually perfect, right? Because there's this pest to go with just a wrestle. But um, he's got a like reading the claw palm hit there and then oh. dodging away. <laughs> Classic. Oh, my god. <laughs> Classic. We had the reroll or anything. Oh my god. Um, imagine doing that before you've even made this hit. That's outrageous. Um, yeah, so then, you know, he's, he's got a ball carrier there. Blood sure hands. Two heads. Fine. Two claw palm tacklers. So brilliant pestigors, even though the rest of one's a bit rubbish. Two perfect pestigor killers. Uh, yes, mining. he's missing some dirty player, maybe. Yes, yeah. But like, you know, two two expendable warriors and two good warriors. And then, yeah, I guess he's missing two players, which you could really do with against uh, Crucifers. But then even then, like, you can only dirty player once he's up men's anyway, right? When you think he's got nine positions, he's only got two rotters on the field. So he can't really afford that many fouls. It's not easy, and they're, they're thick skulls, so you wouldn't want to... You'd want to foul a close one, obviously, but... It's not like the yeah, but uh, In general, one dirty player never hurts. Yeah, oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Like, it'd be, so, it would be better against, like, an edge team, wouldn't it, to foul things yeah. with impunity. He's going for the all-men's. The all-men's guard lock. Fair enough, he has got the strength advantage and quite a lot of guard. Maybe should have made this a three dice though, seeing as he... Again, uh, stand firm mm. with a thing. Mm. Like this guy could have gone could have gone round there, right? And he could have had three dice. That's probably what he should have done. Because that guy's exposed anyway. GFI to get the Jewish target. He's not piling. The course, guard is more. Uh, the guard is more important. Uh, yes, yeah, he needs the two D hit there. But I mean, he could have piled and uh, and just brought in a hobo, couldn't he? I guess he needed it for that hit. Yeah, okay, he needed it for the hit on the uh, on the warrior. Yeah, he needed the guard. For Okay. He's going for the dirty player Here comes. Oh, yes. He has more than enough uh, players. He has uh, three reserves. Not. Oh, really lucky. This, this is game is going to be the battle of the claw. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever has the better claw wins. Pretty much. I, you know, like, and Chofs can win that randomly, but they're a lot worse against, like, a high TV against Nurgle. They're definitely... The Nurgle are definitely favoured on teams. Um, there's no wizard for Chris. Um, in fact, it's the, it's the Nurgle that have the babes. But, like... Oh, wow, he's got a hit on the ball here, hasn't he? He can, he can get a hit on the ball here. Chris. Yep. Um... Yeah, like, in these kind of this is nice, isn't it, getting a chin a beast away? No, he's not doing that. Shouldn't he have, shouldn't he have uh, hit and followed and then chained the beast I think that away? was, yes, I think that was a clear follow and then... Uh... Yeah, because now now you've got to push him there and that's... I don't know, I like, I like hitting the hit on the ball more. I mean, maybe, you know, like, it's different, isn't it? Maybe he's... Cruz is very maximizing hits at any cost. Yeah. And then, if you hit the ball there and then you get your bull claw pump, then there's no point to it, is there? So... 
The game isn't one in a turn, is it? It's one in eight turns. So, you know, okay, you could have knocked the ball. Listen, the thing, the thing is, that what I like about it is when you're the not the bash team, because Cruz is not the bash team in this matchup. Um, if you make the fight about the ball, then and you know, make them make positional blitzers, then it can get a bit tricky for them. You know, whereas if they, if you just let if they, if they, if, they, if you're just letting them tee off with claw on every turn, it's gonna, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> yeah. Well, for now, things are looking more or less all right for Cruz getting rid of that uh, Chaos Quarry. Nice exchange for a uh, random Pogo. Yeah. Oh, the classic going to the side lane, maybe a little early. Maybe. Does it matter if you call on people? There you go. Oh, there you go. Well, that's, uh, that's going to be the Apple. Yeah. No. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, pull strain. Could have, uh, could have hit this guy with a blitz. Oh, he re rolls the foul appearance. So, yeah, he's just trying to get him, you know, win the fight in the middle, which is. Rowdy. I mean, the problem is he's just hitting Claw Mighty onto, like, one of the worst warriors, and the warriors have all got regen. It's like. And the beast, it's just not. It's not that like good for him, is it? You didn't stand firm. Mm, interesting. Better a dodge that did in a claw Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I still think Cruz will think he can stop this with balls. Like maybe with not going for the ball earlier, he thinks he'll get a better chance later, but looks like he's going to get a ball blitzed here. Oh, dangerous blister gets the pow. Yeah. He's going to pile on. Big. Not yeah. terrible, but big. <laughs> yeah, he's still got a little bit of trouble to protect the ball here, because this, this ball can go places. But yeah, I guess he's just not caring much about the ball. Yeah, he's not caring at all about the ball, apparently. <laughs> I, yes, it's like... Uh, I don't know, uh, I mean... If that was a pow... <laughs> oh, there's a fight standing for a uh, chorf anyway. Well, he didn't even get the power, though, did he? Without the power, I guess. He could only go 1D and he didn't want to do 1D, which is fair. But if he'd got the power on the first hit, he'd have probably gone for the same. Yeah. Ooh. I don't know, I don't like going for 1D ball, so. Certainly not when you're letting a claw pommel just punch you straight back, but the claw pommel gets you punch you straight back anyway, right? He still gets to blitz, that's the thing. Wow, it doesn't pile on. What a nerd. <laughs> what an absolute loser. Imagine not piling on there. That's pathetic. <laughs> no offence to Krupa, you've the, got. <laughs> the beast behaving very well, lucky there, but yeah, that was a clear pile on, I think. Yeah. Extreme for Chorf. Strength for guard claw my ear like what a time to care about the ball. <laughs> it's so weird, isn't it? <laughs> it's literally so weird after the previous turn. And then now he's like, no. So I'm, I'm not sure how it's gonna be Ruby able to manage to score here. I mean uh, Crucifer still have a nice chunk of players to get in the way. Yeah, he is in the way. Oh, he's in the way a bit, but I mean there can be a Bits in the tail here, I'm pretty sure. He's got two heads on the ball carrier, so. Yeah, because he's got proper screen. Yeah, right. yeah that is pretty good. Oh, he makes the dodge as well! There you go, there wow. you go. Yeah, okay, now it's looking pretty hard to score, yeah. <laughs> yeah, good shot.
Okay, I think that's definitely Krupin not scoring. Imagine if he'd piled on that guy, he wouldn't have been able to screen properly. <laughs> he really should have piled, shouldn't he? I can't believe he didn't pile. Gets to hit the ball though. Out. Cruiser is not going to lucky with the KO rolls. Uh, this guy double GFIs? He's got a chance, hasn't he? He's, he does double GFIs, he's got the rudder. Oh it? my god, oh my god, he's got, where would I see the rudder? <laughs> rudder is scored, honey. And he's got, the, he's got the beast on the thing, so he can't even tag him easily. <laughs> Amazing. What a master play. What a master play. <laughs> Nobody expected that rotter there. No. Oh, he uphills the beast, so he's still got a chance to tag it. Oh, no, he's got block. Oh, he's got block. He's, he's has block. Yeah, he fails the tents. <laughs> Rerolls fails again. <laughs> so it's a three plus. <laughs> Yeah, two, three, two, two. Easiest touchdown of his life. I'm not piling on, or I would have just piled on this. Oh my god. And the, there you go, slowly but surely. The rotter <laughs> keeps going and. <laughs> my god. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> yes, Dr. Fields, bad. That was crazy. <laughs> Boom. Nobody expects the Spanish rotter. <laughs> Very good. Unbelievable. Oh, wow. Oh, oh the chaos good. come back. He has got two. He's got two babes, though, in fair. He is. He's below TV. Unbelievable. Oh, all three come back with Chris. Chris has got a lot of reserves, hasn't he? Yes. He has uh, three reserves, he has uh, 14 players there. Mm -hmm. And one of them was a hobo with a wrestling frenzy. Yeah. But I guess, yeah, krippy has got 14, so krippy has got a lot of players too. But somehow got two birds. Maybe he scummed like 40k for the second or something because. It would make sense for him to scum a little bit because, you know, at the end of the day, you do want to win, don't you? Yeah. Well, That's after all, uh, Groupie's team only has one double, which is the dodge in the Pesti or the, and the Beast. Yeah. There is no stat-ups or uh, anything like that, just a shitload of skills. Yeah, yeah, very TV efficient. T very TV efficient. I mean, if you found his DP got sent off, you don't want to find him without DP because then they just remove more players, right? So it's, and he had one, he nearly defended. Chris nearly defended the score, didn't he? Like, so I think he, he used his players to actually play the ball a bit. He nearly scored, nearly stopped the score. If he'd just been mindlessly fouling, he would have, uh, he would have got scored on for sure. Although he yeah, he him. he opted to follow him for maximum when it hits. You know, looking for the chance of those cast. I think I think Chris is found in this one. But yeah, that's a good point to be fair. Chris has got the strength up here, the edge up. Double there. Doubles here. Double there. Yeah, he's got loads of double strength ups, whereas yeah, Chris is very, very team efficient. Yeah, great team Chris. Nope. Sadly, LOS in the dead is actually dead. <laughs> in the LOS. <laughs> Destiny. <laughs> I like that Cruz has the Banana Man outfit. Brilliant. And all the blue heads has the... Yeah. I'm going for the foul only because he has more than our reserves. Yeah. And he needs, even, uh, you know, the Krupi has a lot of reserves. Crucifer is thinking in the extra time already. Yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting whether to foul there or not. 
Because you, you're, you know, risking one of your crap players, one of his crap players. Um, but, you know, he's got regen on his nine good players. I don't know. I think it was Rowdy. Yeah, I think it was Rowdy. But he's reaching the point that the Crucifer is probably thinking that he needs to do some high rolling here. Yeah. Maybe. Because he hadn't done any damage at all until the turn 8. Yeah. yeah but two cars. The nerds are down to 12. And the chores have 14 still. So he's, he's actually out bashing them, but his Cruz's Apo is gone. And Krupis does have regen on all nine positions. Although we get one field. Yeah, now Crucifer needs to get rid of some of the rotters in the LOS. I mean, Cruz's team is amazing as well, to be fair. Like, it's just... It's in, really good. Yeah, in this matchup, I favour the Nurgle just because they've got more killing power. Um, but I think and survival, they can they have regen. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're like the... Nurgle are like just the best fighting team. Whereas, obviously, to win Chalice, there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of badge teams, so Chalfs do well because Bulls are incredible, aren't they? <laughs> Basically, and having all the tackle is great as well. And they can they can absolutely beat the Nurgle teams and stuff because as heavy as the Nurgles are, they can still just get co op on just as easily as anything else. Also, they have the problem they have a very reaction capacity once the snowball starts because they are extremely slow. Oh, pathetic. He's got his wrestle frenzy on. <laughs> and his fan favorite bull. We dodge, but Aji won. <laughs> yeah. Oof. Can't re roll that with overtime. No. Even if you have four rolls. Yeah. Also, to get a hit there, he needs to invest, the group he needs to invest things because he's more or less protected. I mean, it's more protected a bit, but he's, he's definitely going to he's definitely gonna go for him, isn't he? Can oh, he yeah, of course. 100%. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the thing. I think if this had been the first half, like if Chris had got to receive, or if he had successfully defended, I think maybe he re-rolls that with four. But with... Uh, with being 1-0 down and the best he can hope for is overtime, he, yeah, he can't re-roll it and here comes, he will re-roll this Krippy, yeah. Ooh. Happy days. See, Krippy can re-roll it because if Krippy wins out, he wins 1-0, doesn't he? So, like, yes. yeah, the, the best Chris can hope for is overtime. There's no way Chris wins this without overtime, whereas Krippy can win it, can stop overtime and win that one. He's got this strength four claw mighty to blitz in and then get the assist to hit the claw. Claw pom versus claw pom. Oh, what did Cruz do there? That wasn't the right warrior. No, I think that was terrible. I think that uh, was gen genuinely terrible because he, he could have blitzed there and then he would have had the hit on the claw pom with claw. No. I mean, I guess this way he gets to hit them both, but that's frenzy. <laughs> Oh <laughs> no! I definitely prefer blitzing the non-stand firm guy. Did not like that at all. This this guy standing in here is amazing, though. Holy moly! He's not even doing that. He's going for the ball. Which is fair enough, I mean, but bulls are good, aren't they? Like it's... Yeah, well, you know, uh, safe moves first and all that. <laughs> so, safe moves don't really matter, do they, in this kind of game? Just beat everything up, see what happens. 
Ah, but putting that claw, uh, stand firm, uh, guard there. No, one square more. Yeah, well, I, I would have put him in there if I was going to blitz this claw palm. That was the thing. Um, whereas now he just probably wants to try and not give up hits, but he can't make this hit, can he? Now? Let's just hit that one. Stand firm. Lots of stand firm here, and he's got he's got a elf screen out in front. It's not easy for Cruz, is it? But he's getting some hits. I like that one. Oh, big one! Yeah, that's pretty big. Yeah, so Cruz is just going to try and maximise hits, I guess, and not really care about the quality of them. I mean, most of them are going to be claw mighty blow hits anyway, so... Yeah. Well, like last turn when he, when he just... I think he just tried to maximise the hits rather than getting his claw palm hit on the claw palm, whereas I think... He should have tried to have got the claw palm hit on the claw palm. Who can say if it's right or wrong? <laughs> All right, this move to the side here. Come up the side back to the mid centre. Well, it's hard to see anything with all the skills, and there's so many skills. Yes, there. so many skills here, and so many auras and stuff. Very like, oh. and the beast. I don't think the beast has failed any. A stupid roll at all. No, no, the beast is. And if he had failed one of them, it was very risky there. Mm. And quitting the wrestle with his claw palm. I was, I, I like that cruise tag and that guy with him, but like you know what I mean. Like you want to try and control the blisters if you can, don't you? The claw palm is. This is going quite well for Cruz. Yeah, I like that chain away the piece. Hmm. Well. Could have won one very well, didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Con the claw mighty pile on blitz. It's only going to be a 1D though. Yeah, okay, so I'm going around to make it 2D, yeah. <laughs> oh god, this could be bad because everything's in contact now, isn't it? There's the claw palm to blitz. My Cruz has got a lot of guard, but. But Ruby has a lot of guard and a strength. Yeah. Gonna surf, gonna surf the hobble. He, he was gonna try to surf the hobble. <laughs> wow, going for that wrestle again. Not a fan of that, but I guess it dislodges a guard. Which is important, isn't it? But it was like, a, it was a poor play to blitz for sure. The last thing you want is to get a ball down and get wrestled, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, this is really soft, isn't it? It's like... Yes, I was thinking that. Where, 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 where is the, the blue, the dead? I mean... Mm. Everybody has claw here. What the hell is Pike uh, failing here? Yeah. Fifth turn of Chris's driver, it's just... It's just like a dwarf mirror. <laughs> no one's getting removed. It's just everyone's in contact. And you think, oh my god, this turn's going to be brutal. And then it's just everyone's in contact. <laughs> Next turn's going to be brutal. Nope, everyone's in contact again. It's really weird. And yeah, he's feeling the time pressure now, isn't he? He's got to try and get forward a bit. Especially now that the most of the groupies team is. Isolated in the left -hand side of the pitch. Yeah, it's nice for Cruz, these three guys here. Trying to get that surf. Yeah, he's got to reload it. He's got to get it over time. There's no point. There's no point having Kekwadi and not getting to kicks, is there? 
Yep. I wonder if there's a funky chain here. Hmm. Difficult with stun for him. <laughs> I think that probably wasn't the way anyway, to be honest. You have to hit this guy this time. Whoa! Oh, armor break! Doesn't follow though, no pile. But that makes sense, having at least, you know, some kind of defense. Ugh. Defense? <laughs> Don't be absurd. <laughs> Just kill everything. <laughs> yeah, this is a. Uh... Okay, now the. The claw pylon uh, can get the blitz. But without any. Yeah. Well, he, could, he, could, he could GFI to hit him with claw. Oh, I, I was meaning the one of the. Of the pitch. Oh, yeah, yeah, he could just GFI and hit him with the thing, yeah. yeah. Oh, he's just protecting the ball. Conservative Cruise. I quite like that, though, yeah, he just. Because he could have screened with him. Like, this guy could have gone there, yeah. and then this guy could have blitzed, yeah. I hope he's trying to frenzy him to get cover. Oh, that's beautiful. To, to be fair, that's great. This, isn't it? Oh, to nice play, nice support. play, nice play with the frenzy player. Everybody was laughing at the frenzy guy. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty great. That was pretty great to get him out and around. I like that. I like that a lot. I wonder if Trippi will even try to stop the score now. I think he's going to go to blitz one of the bulls. Yeah. Oh, he is going to try and stop the score. That's the thing. Is unfortunately, to try and stop the score, you've got to tag these core mighty players, which is not really what you want to do, is it? And he can't That's not the result he was looking for. No. Can't re-roll any. They're both thinking it's going to be overtime now. I think, I think Creepy's given up on stopping the score here, basically. Or at least he should have done. <laughs> yes, I I think he gave up uh, stopping the score a couple of times ago. Yeah. This guy should have actually marked this one so that this one could have double And he still tried, but it wasn't really achieving anything now, so I, I'm not sure I like making those. I mean, I was, would have probably still made those GFIs. But. It was worse to tag this one because obviously he's trying to throw and you just give him the hit away, but it, like the payoff of marking both of these was worth it, I think. Hey. Hey. The frenzy. Freeze up him. In the garden. Beautiful stuff. Lovely stuff from Cruz playing properly. And I think, oh! Mm. I wonder if he was going to GFI then, GFI to hit, or if he was actually going to like go here or something. Interesting. I think that's more or less the overtime sorted. Yes. Yeah, I think it was sorted a couple of turns ago, really. Uh, I think they both just. Felt it was crew that just gave up. They didn't got too many players over there. That, that attempted surf of the hobo just took too many players, and Chris went the other side and was was away, wasn't he? Yeah, no. Oh, finally, yeah. turn fifteen. The beast, the uh, stupid. GFI. Hasn't he got Blitz? Is it? Oh no, he's, he's Yes, he did, he did, he did, he did. Pylon. 
got a pile on the KO there, just so you don't get blitzed by Claw Mighty. <laughs> oh, it's so stupid, isn't it, pile on? Ah, Claw Palm hit. Oh, oh full appearance. Now. And that's it. 1-1. One, one. Yeah. But now the Nurgle gets three LOS seeds. Yes. And maybe which is going to be three stupid Hogwoblins, but everything counts. Yeah. Unbelievable lack of damage. Crazy. It's all just going to come down to here with the toss, isn't it, really, I think? Yes. Yes, but the, the fact that the... Krupi didn't need to regen any single piece. <laughs> I'd, I'd favor, I like, I'm, I'm favoring Cruz now. I think Cruz has played better, to be honest. And he's still got a team. That's the crucial thing. He's still got a team, like, so I think he's got a better chance of winning if he loses the toss. Um, I think I think if he wins the toss, he'll, he'll definitely score and win. Whereas I think if Krupi wins the toss, he might not win. I mean, that's not true, because obviously they will definitely win. But do you know what I mean? I think Chris yes. is more no, favourite no, no, to no. score if he wins the toss. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I, I have to... When it comes to coach level, Cruz uh, has the advantage. Hmm. And yeah. yeah, the fact that he has the whole team. Yeah, that's, that's very... Very, uh, very good. Very lucky. <laughs> Gotta love the blue head. Little mistake of uh, Crucifer leading the bulls on the pitch. Yeah, I'm surprised. Put in, uh, at least one of the at least the useless chorf. Yeah, it's weird that he's got the two claws off and then just a random useless chorf. Yeah, that's quite bizarre. Not doing anything with Pylon on a random. Uh, Oh god, absolute disgrace. Oh, there, oh, you, there go. you go. That's better. So yeah, Krupi, I didn't need to roll any uh, regen, but Crucifer hasn't used Brick Tackle <laughs> at all, no. either. He's just one what the hell is he happening here? Apple, hasn't he? He's used his apple, Chris, so... It's been so two yeah, every, so. every hit now is a danger, but... Yeah, but yeah two cars each in 16 turns is, is kind of crazy. Because they've given so many hits, like, they've had... It's just been a war of punching Stan Firm yes, guys, hasn't it? There's been a lot of uh, chaos, but... Mm. No cars. Ooh, Cruz has lost the toss. Oh, now the favorite is a groupie. Yeah. Three rolls. Whole team. Yeah. And he's got the chance to just blow Cruz off the park, of course, with all these club mighty hits, club palm. He might just get an easy drive, you never know. It hasn't happened for 16 yeah, turns. It could be but... for, for cast, you know. Uh... Yeah. I mean, really, really good as well. Like, it's crazy how how dangerous this team is, and it's just done nothing. <laughs> I like that he's uh, kept this guy back, you know, a bit sensible. A bit sensible to... Uh... Case of blitzes and stuff. That wasn't very good though, was it? Taking any risk. Well, Reslegain, 
Not making that three. Come on, man. He's got wrestle. You've got to make it three. <laughs> it was three Jericho Peppers, but they both got a bonus reroll here. Yeah. So very conservative start by Krippy. He should think about scoring this time. He didn't really in the first half, did he? Had to be a yeah. <laughs> had to be a rot of wonder touchdown. Now Crucible. I mean, I seen Hulk Goblin there. I like that. Yeah. Chris will be loving this. Like, obviously, he would have rather received, but like, he can still put his whole team on the line to st to stop the touchdown now. Can't he? try his hardest to just balls to the wall, as it were. Meanwhile, uh, bulls are free. That ball is never gonna be safe. Yeah. the pile, maybe not. It doesn't. It doesn't need to. That was an Elliot impression for one sentence. <laughs> hmm. No, it doesn't hit the I thought you would have hit the uh that guy with muscle. Yeah, no. This is more hits. You're well, lucky with the power there. Yeah. Chris has got to watch this rotter. <laughs> so he doesn't want to let him. He has to hit him. He <laughs> doesn't let him get away. <laughs> okay, well, he's KO'd him. He's not getting away. The scoring thread is under control. <laughs> That's a nice trade, isn't it, rookie? Yes, rookie, rookie, or yeah. Krupi might just have to potato here. This is uh... oh, full appearance saves the day again. How does he even score here? Just keep hitting things and hope he has half his team, maybe. <laughs> oh, this is the big one. Oh, it might be. Pile on. Oh, that is oh. the big one. Oh yes, the biggest one. Boy howdy. And if Krupi wins, he'll get a new rotter. Ooh, he's he's just potatoing. Oh dear. <laughs> I was joking about the potato, but he's he's gone for it. Oh, there's a cans. Can the uh, beast hit them? It's got. Oh my god, he's dodged there. And dodged again. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Oh man, I guess he's going to GFI again as well to get there. Yeah. And. Wow. Uh, wow. This is looking very bad for Crucifer now. Yeah, he's got to uphill him to get the tents away. No, fails. Oh, so he pushes him with a frenzy. And then oh, the foul of saves, saves the dodge brick tackle. He's got to dodge again for that one. Oh, but he's AG1. Oh, killed. He was AG1. Yeah, so if he if he'd got the push up there, then and then he could have he, he should have tried the frenzy one first, I guess. So he'd got the ball. I don't know, it was hard. It was really hard, wasn't it? 
Yeah, from Cruz, for Cruz. That was, I mean, that was good. That was a ballsy play, wasn't it, to, to make that move and the GFIs and the dodges and everything. Right, work yep. out. He worked out, he took the risk, he waited all the game to make the a risky play and that's it. Mm, right. I mean that is the problem when you've when you've lost the toss, like you know it's so different, isn't it, when people can score whenever they want, like any not whenever they want, but any time, like the fact you can make an early break, like that would be terrible in a normal half of Blood Bowl. Because you just let him, you know, you, you bring back about four players and then he's he can't stall it and he's got to score early and you 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 beat him. But when it's in overtime and you can just score, you've got to, it's just hard. It's so hard against L, particularly against L's, because they can do stuff like that easier, can't they? But you have just enough to do it with a two-head splodger. And just a nimble, a nimble killer. The killer was great. The killer made two dodges and two GFIs, didn't it? To get the cover. So there you go, the mighty, the mighty Crucifer falls at the Nurgle hurdle. He, didn't base the, he, he could have based the ball, doesn't even bother. Fair enough. Two one, and there you go. Krupi goes to the final. Yeah. Pi in the final. He's got all cheerleaders, so you know, fair play to him. Fair play to him for that. He's got he's got great taste in cheerleaders. <laughs> too professional, too professional CCL coach. <laughs> yeah. Twenty-seven A free breaks from sixty-four blocks. And fifteen A free breaks from fifty. That's wild, isn't it? Like they did so little damage to each other. Um, really stupid. Only fail one. <laughs> yeah, crazy. <laughs> well, there you go. That was that was a game, wasn't it? Uh, you know, it mostly yeah. just came down to the winning the toss, didn't it? You know, that's that's that, that is the problem. by like taking a bash team to CCL really is is like yeah, they're good, but when they run into another bash team, it, a lot of the time it is going to go overtime, and if you lose the toss, there's not that much. Uh, you yes, if do. you don't do a, a lot of damage. Yeah. It's very complicated. Yeah, for sure. There you go. Congratulations to Krupi, commiserations to Krusi. And uh, <laughs> thank you very much, Fime, for the commentary. As always, absolutely glorious. A pleasure to be here. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. <laughs>